hello friends welcome back to online math so we're gonna be solving this equation right here so this is a beautiful application of a lambert the very fun son so i'm gonna be utilizing that to simplify this uh, equation and then of course find out the value of x that is actually going to be satisfying this equation so but just before we proceed if you need to our channel do well to hit the like button subscribe to our channel and also turn on the notification icon so that whenever we release new content you actually get a personalized notification and of course if you are a returning subscriber thank you so much hit the like button even as we proceed so what i have here is 2 power x plus x is equal to 5 okay so the first step i want to take is actually to move this x to the right hand side and if i do that what i'm going to be having is 2 power x is equal to 5 and then of course minus x so i'm going to divide through by this 2 power x right here so this is divided by 2 power x okay so this divide itself one this divide itself and so that i have that 1 over 1 is 1 it's equal to 5 minus x and then divided by 2 power x okay so because we're going to be applying the lambert degree function you remember of course i've been talking about this function is actually a beautiful tool to solve some math problem so you can actually go ahead go online and then get more information and of course read about it because we're going to be applying that we're actually going to be simplifying this uh, a function here to be in the form of a exponential a so that of course once we now apply the downbacks to real function we're going to be having that it will give us a okay so of course like i've always explained before you apply a lambert degree function uh, to a particular function to simplify it has to be in this form that is um, a exponential a okay so what I, what we're going to be doing is just to find a way to simplify this whole stuff we have right here to be in this uh, form so that we can uh, simply apply the lambert degree function okay so for convenience sake i'm actually going to move this to the right hand side so i have that this is 5 minus x divided by 2 power x is equal to 1 okay so the next thing i actually want to do is to bring this uh, 2 power x to the numerator okay so if i do that this whole thing will change to uh, 5 minus x okay and then of course multiply by 2 power uh, negative x okay it's equal to 1 now keeping an eye on this what we have here is 5 minus x and then we all, uh, we only have negative x right here. so we're going to be looking for a way to add 5 to this negative x we have here and we can just do that by multiplying both sides by 2 to the power 5. Okay, so if you do that, we're going to be having that this is 5 minus x. And of course, multiply by 2 to the power negative x. And then multiply by 2 power 5. Okay, it's equal to 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 5. Okay, it's cool. And then of course, you can see something here. So, if you remember one of the... Uh, rules of indices uh, uh, that is the product rule or the multiplication law basically say that you have let's say a power c and then multiply by a power b you can actually simplify this to be equal to a power uh, c plus b okay so what you just do is once they have the same base you can just pick one base and then add the power so because we have the same base right here multiplying themselves so we're going to be picking one base and then we add the powers okay so if you do that right there what we now have is x, 5 minus x and then multiply by 2 a power this is negative x and then of course a plus 5 right here is equal to 1 multiplied by a 2 power 5 is just same as 2 
four or five okay so the next thing i want to do is actually to rewrite this of course you can see that uh, five minus x is still the same as um, minus x plus five so but uh, let me just write that so what i'm going to be having in the next line is five minus x and of course multiplied by two power five minus x is equal to two power five okay so you can see that at least we've achieved uh, to a certain level so this is 5 minus x and of course this is 5 minus x so the only stuff we, ha we have to do next is to look for a way to introduce this exponential sign okay so for us to do that we are just going to be writing this to right here and of course you know that we can write 2 as exponential uh, natural log of 2 okay of course here exponential natural log is equal to 1 1 times 2 will give us 2 okay so that basically the same so i'm going to be using this to replace this 2 that i have right here and if i do that the equation now changes to 5 minus x okay multiply by so in place of 2 i write exponential natural log of 2 and then power 5 minus x cool is equal to 2 and of course let's simplify this 2 power 5 is equal to 32 i'm actually going to be uh, utilizing another property of uh, log reading of course uh, because it is power right here we're having this power right i'm going to bring it down here of course you can remember if you have a natural log of a power b you can actually write this as b and then multiply it by the natural log of a so i'm going to be using that here this is now 5 minus x and then multiply by exponential so what i'm going to be having is 5 minus x right here multiplied by this natural log of 2 okay and of course it's equal to 32 okay so it's becoming cool and then of course you can see we've got exponential right here uh, but then when you come to the power here uh, it's no longer the same with what is at the uh, uh, at the base here okay so what we're just, just gonna do is to find a way to uh, attach this nat uh, natural log of 2 to also this one that is right here and we can achieve that by multiplying through by natural log of 2 so that if we do that what we, what we are not going to be having is 5 minus x and then multiply by natural log of 2 okay exponential 5 minus x multiply by the natural log of 2 is equal to 32 multiply by the natural log of 2 okay so you can see right here that we've got our function to be in form of a exponential a so this is standing as our a and it's also exactly the same with what we have uh, on top right there so because we've got that we cannot go ahead to apply the lambert w function to both sides so we evaluate the lambert w function of 5 minus x uh, natural log of 2 okay so let me give this a big uh, bracket exponential 5 minus x and then multiplied by natural log of 2 is equal to the lambert of a function of 32 then natural log of 2 okay so that all of these now collapses to 5 minus x okay uh, multiplied by natural log of 2 is equal to the lambda w function of 32 uh, multiplied by the natural log of 2 okay so the next thing i want to do is actually to go ahead to divide through by this natural log of 2 right here okay so this is natural log of 2 so this cancels this and then we are left with 5 minus x is equal to the Lambert W function of 32 multiplied by the natural log of 2 all divided by the natural log of 2.
Okay, so what I'm gonna do is just to move this uh, one, to this uh, lambda w function of 32 multiplied by uh, log 2 divided by log 2 to the uh, left hand side, and then I'll move this x to the right hand side so that the x here now changes to positive. Okay, so if that changes to positive, what I'm gonna be having is x, okay, which will now be equal to so I, because I'm bringing this one here, I have 5. And then minus the Lambert W function of 32, natural log of 2, and then divided by the natural log of 2. And then, of course, if you watch clearly, this is actually going to be the value of x that will satisfy the equation. Then, uh, for you to compute this, you just need to head on to work from alpha.com so you can be able to compute this so that you get. A decimal uh, value for the value of x okay and of course if you check that right there what you're gonna be having is that x is approximately 1.715 cc so thank you guys so much for watching and of course if you found this video interesting make sure you subscribe to our channel turn on the notification icon so that you will get notified each time we release new content and then of course, if you have any comments, do drop in the comment box and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.